Welcome again to Brookside's Daily Devotions. My name's Stanley. Thank you very much for joining me. Thinking today of the life of a man called James Fraser. Uh, you may not have heard tell of James Fraser. Let me read to you a little bit about his life, his background, and just what he suffered for the Lord and yet what God done through this life. Such an encouragement in this life. James Fraser a great capacity to enjoy life. Friends and relations enjoyed his keen sense of humour. He was also an outstanding pianist, given his first piano recital in London at the age of 20. So here he comes from this rather privileged background. He was converted to Christ as a, a student at Imperial College in London at the age of 20. And by the age of 22, he went to China to serve the Lord. Here he is leaving all to follow Christ. And in those days when he went to China, life was not going to be easy. He recognised that. He left behind a comfortable, wealthy home, the prospect of a brilliant career in engineering. In its place, he chose a life of physical hardship in the rugged mountains of southwest China and spiritual conflict among the people of the Lishu tribe. God was taking this young, talented man, recently converted to Christ, uh, from a wealthy background, and here to, to live out amongst these people, in the middle of a spiritual battle as well, uh, in the midst of all the physical difficulties that would come with it. These people were steeped in centuries of demon worship and none of them had ever heard of Jesus Christ. God calls us to difficult places sometimes. Or maybe in our lives we go through difficult times. And if you think it was all going to be a bed of roses for this man, it wasn't. But God was going to be proved strong in his life through thick and thin, as we talk about, through all sorts of circumstances, God would be with them. It says, battling bouts of loneliness and fever, sometimes of depression. His encounters with the powers of darkness only increased his confidence in God and in the power of prayer. Here was a man who knew what it was to be down on his knees, calling out to God. Maybe you're in that situation today. Maybe you're struggling. It's not in the midst of China or it's not in the midst of some missionary service somewhere overseas. Maybe it's just in your home or maybe in your community, maybe in your family life. And here's an encouragement. Through it all, he's, his confidence was increased and through the power of prayer. We need to turn to God. His, he, his ear is always open to our cry. After much heartache and disappointment, believers were numbered in the thousands and churches began to spring up as less you Christians spread the gospel among their own people. God used this man mightily for the spread of the gospel right across that area of China. Paul himself encourages in Second Corinthians verse eleven talks about or chapter eleven rather talks about his his life and the, the, the many things he struggled with. Five times I received at the hands of the Jews the forty lashes less one. Three times I was beaten with rods, once I was stoned, three times I was shipwrecked, a night and the day uh, adrift at sea, on frequent journeys and danger from rivers, dangers from robbers Danger from my own people, danger from the Gentiles, danger in the city, danger in the wilderness, danger at sea, danger from false brothers. Second Corinthians 11, Paul here reminding us of the struggles that he went through. And in fact, when you come into Second Corinthians 12, thinking about Paul's life, and then he had this thorn in the flesh. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this that it should leave me. And in verse 8 it says, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, 
For my power is made perfect in weakness, sometimes the trials we go through. Is God working through us, even through our weaknesses? Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Maybe today you're feeling weak and it's not easy. You're maybe on a journey, uh, going through a passage of time and needing to know that God is with you. The God who doesn't leave us or forsake us. And this same God who has been with Paul on his journeys and been with James Fraser, leaving all to follow Christ. And yet through it all, God working out his purposes, God saving souls. Maybe today you need that encouragement. God is at work through thick and thin. God is with you in the midst of all you're going through. The God who loves us and cares for us. Turn to him today, even as James Fraser talked about turning to him in prayer. The one who hears our cry, the one who answers, and the one who will never leave us or forsake us. May we know that today. May I know that today in my own life as well. No matter what we're battling, in the battles of the spiritual battles we go through as well, that our God is with us and he is in us. And greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. May you know that today as you persevere through thick and thin, but through the power of Christ living in you. Thank you very much once again for listening.